Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro, and I wanted to uh, tell you about a little glitch that we've been able to figure out, at least where it's originating, and I uh, wanted to show you so you guys could fix this and adjust it. Now, in Photoshop and a number of different places, when you move the, this is the HUD or HUD color picker inside of Photoshop, which, by the way, if you want to adjust, just go down here to Preferences, General, and then uh, the Color Picker. This is the HUD Color Picker. I have it set to Wheel Small. You guys might be more familiar with it um, looking like this. Uh, anyway, so if you're drawing and you're wanting to pick a color, uh, sometimes that can be extremely laggy process. And so uh, what I wanted to show you here is what you need to do in order to fix that. So here, uh, let's just go into settings, we're gonna devices, mouse, additional mouse properties, and then right here, and then I know that we've toyed with this before, display pointer trails. So we're gonna turn that off, I'm gonna demonstrate what that looks like. All right, so here, has very, very laggy. Um, in my opinion, it's pretty much unusable. Let's go ahead and adjust that property again. Again, you can keep this all the way down to short. You don't have to have it set to a long pointer trail. All right, and here you can see really nice and smooth. So for uh, those of you who've used this feature, and this applies to full screen as well. If you're using full screen here, and you notice that over uh, icon changes like the hand icon or something that there's uh, a lot of lag, uh, that little setting inside of Windows, and I'm not sure why, uh, seems to cause a massive amount of lag. And this this will play out if you guys are using Tablet Pro uh, in gaming or overlays or things that do exclusive full screen. Uh, having that setting set make a significant difference. Uh, as well as the resolution of the screen. So you notice here in full screen mode, moving the mouse around. Now I've dropped down the resolution from the standard uh, 4K. And uh, let's go ahead and move this. Put this at 150. Bring this back up to regular resolution. We're going to keep changes. And just want to give you an idea of what the difference is and how it looks. It's kind of jumpy, kind of a uh, little spazzy. So I hope this is useful for those of you who prioritize the smoothness of the mouse pointer uh, over the high DPI screen. This um, might help you. Okay, so upon further investigation, it doesn't seem that disable full screen optimizations does too much. I had also played with this setting right here, change H, uh, high DPI settings for this program, and I had had this one set to application versus system enhanced, which uh, when it's set to system enhanced, and, and here when I'm doing this, uh, in order to test the change, uh, I'm not just turning this off and back on, but I'm closing down the process, and uh, that can be done by pressing shift and uh, right-clicking on here, and that's a little tricky if you're using just touch, but you can go here, click, and then there's closed process right there. Um, so that will actually shut down the process. Ah. All right, so if you see elevate to administrator, that means that it, the uh, system actually shut all the way down. And then we'll go here to full screen mode and see if there's a difference here in the performance. And I think there is. I think this is smoother, except for when you're in certain games, it seems to run uh, a little worse. So I don't have that set on right here because we're trying to root out exactly what the problem is. But it seems like there's a number of different things that all make a little bit of difference. Uh, on to probably the most significant when you're inside of Tablet Pro here, uh, I believe that in the current versions of Windows, using the pointer move, this increase of speed, changing it so anything other than 100% uh, makes things a lot worse. 
uh, have the scroll speed set to 100% and step set to 1 slash 10 if you're scrolling up and down a window, which uh, there's not that option even on this page. So click apply, make sure this is 100%. Um, that's going to be extraordinarily slow. And so uh, what you're going to want to do is go into settings and devices, back to mouse, and let's see, additional mouse options. And we're going to adjust pointer options, pointer speed. You can choose to move this up a little bit further. And here I, I noticed also that enable pointer shadow does the same thing as pointer trails, but you don't have those kind of slightly annoying pointer trails. All right, you guys, um, this is not conclusive. This is not all the information, but holy cow, it works so much better. I was able to, and no one cares, but I was able to play StarCraft II um, with it working really nicely, very smooth, and uh, worked really well in full screen mode. Uh, by the way, okay, so I'm in full screen right now. I have this set to opacity is zero. And I'll show you what the actual buttons look like here. All right, so that's with them set higher. Uh, I do think that there is um, some process that lets the game run um, perfectly with Tablet Pro running on top of it. And I haven't figured that out uh, precisely. So if anyone has any thoughts on how to do that, um, let's see how that would be tested. Uh, so in StarCraft, for instance, uh, if I hit play and go into the settings, the, the game runs at 4K resolution and all the settings are maxed out at 60 frames a second. And then when uh, this is not working optimally where there's a slight difference, then I notice that the uh, it's a little slower, it runs it in 20 something frames a second or 30 frames a second um, occasionally at that resolution. So there's there's still some some setting that needs to be tweaked. I have not figured it out yet. All right, you guys. Uh, in the next video, uh, we're going to be going over uh, some really cool little addition that uh, I've been working diligently on. I'm going to show you right here. Uh, we're going to press this button here on the side, and it's going to pull up a little. You can see I'm adjusting the brush and we're picking colors, and control shift alt and that looks ugly, but it works. And then here we're gonna adjust the opacity here. It's so actually, I'm adjusting the wetness. Uh, let's pick a different brush. Okay, and there you go. So you can see kind of some of the things you can do here. You can move this around and click X to close it. Again, clicking the button there. It's a bit complex, but uh, for some of you guys, this is something that you've wanted and asked for for a long time. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Thank you for being loyal Tablet Pro users. And I hope that until next time, you stay creative and you have a wonderful rest of your week.